Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to license your Easytronic 2.0 software. At this point you should have already watched the videos on setting up the laptop for optimum use and installing the Easytronic 2.0 software. You should have also filled out the end user registration form. Let me show that to you. The end user registration form should have been included in your packet and look like the one I have on the screen. Please fill out all forms required and please note that on page 3 there is also a signature line as well. Please fax or email all three pages in to the number listed here on the form or the email address listed on the form. If you have not done so, please stop now and fill out the form and send it in. Allow 48 hours for this process to be completed. Okay, now that you have your customer number and password, we will begin the licensing process. Start by opening Easytronic 2.0. Once you open Easytronic 2.0, the pop-up message will display no license available. Simply select licensing, select online. The online licensing window will open. Please enter your customer number and password now. Once you've entered in your customer number and password, select continue. The online licensing screen will appear. Select your contract. Select generate. Once your license has been generated, select execute. Your license was successfully act activated. The application is now restarted. Select OK. Once the application restarts, you will no longer see the licensing menu. A window will appear allowing you to see the new features of the latest version. Select yes to view or select no to continue. Select the menu icon in the upper right hand corner. Select system information. Select software information and software information will tell you the version of software that you have on there. It will give you your licensing status and how long it's valid to and your contract ID. That's it. You have now successfully licensed your Easytronic 2.0 software. Be sure to tune in for future videos. The next video in this series will be installing the wireless adapter to allow wireless communication with the VCI module to the vehicle. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I hope it's made your installation simpler 